Hi guys, James here, thanks for coming to watch and today is the first video in a new series that I'm hoping will actually run for a pretty long time where essentially I want to get to identify my own tone and in the process of doing that I'm going to be going through my guitars, my amps and pedals to try and hone and define what it is I want to sound like. Now in the process of doing that obviously I'm hoping that we can together sort of learn and discuss in the comments and figure out you know how to use various pedals to do various things now what is what is it that I'm after what what sort of tone is it that I'm looking for and I think the, the, the thing is maybe a lot of us don't always have that defined idea in our head um, you know we lead busy lives and we barely have enough time to practice guitar in the first place let alone spend our time just looking for our tone as such um, or it becomes the other way around, which I guess recently for me it actually has a little bit, which is that the gear becomes more important than the playing. That's not a problem. That's, I, I think, phases we will go through. Um, I feel like I'm coming to a point where I really need to start practicing some more and learning some new stuff. I'm feeling a little bit stale. <laughs> but this series is really going to explore what can we do to make our own tone? How can we define and identify ourselves? Um, it's going to be hard to be unique, of course, because it's a large world and, you know, we're all essentially buying a lot of the same gear. But it's the ideas that you can formulate yourself or together that are going to help. So just a brief background uh, on what it is I'm trying to go for. My guitar heroes are BB King, Jimi Hendrix and Jimmy Page. Um, if I had to pick one tone that I love the most in of all guitar tones, it would be the Jimmy Page tone. Um, I grew up watching an old VHS of the song Remains the Same and I watched it so much on my tiny little television in my bedroom that it actually went black and white and eventually it stopped working. So that was the tone that I loved. Um, and Jimi Hendrix wasn't far behind. And BB King is a more recent thing for me. And BB King's tone, BB King's playing is more about what he doesn't play than what he does play in some respects. I've never seen a guitarist or never come across anyone else who's so good at just giving you enough, just hinting at the feeling and the tone, uh, or sorry, the feeling and, and the emotion that he's trying to, to convey. You know, clearly that man just had the music running through his bones. Of course he did. So <clears throat> I'm trying to get somewhere between all of these tones. Um, and there are other influences too. Now, the first step for me is going to be to define my always on pedal that's that's the way I'm going to start and always on pedal is what it sounds like it's the pedal that you keep on all the time because it just gives you a hint of a tone above your amp above your guitar that starts to define where you want your sound to go now this last week I've been playing with one particular pedal that's going to try and get me uh, my always on tone I imagine over the coming weeks I'll do several episodes with a different pedal in each one and I'll sort of flesh out the different options that I've got. Today we're starting right at the beginning of my signal chain which is the fuzz pedal. I'm really new to fuzz. For some reason as I was growing up I always just went towards overdrive pedals um, and my first fuzz experience was only a few months ago on this channel where I tried out the Jimi Hendrix Dunlop fuzz face mini duff pedal you know with Jimi Hendrix's face on it which I loved and it really sort of made me want to find more and more pedals. So I've been buying a few, but this latest one, which arrived last week, has absolutely blown me away and really allowed me to start this journey of finding out where I want to get to with my tone. So this is the Dan Drive Austin Pride Fuzz Pedal, which is really the most boutique pedal of boutique pedals. You know, when it comes to dealing with Dan, because it's not the first pedal I bought from him, you know, you get a little Word document, you fill in what you want, and he says, okay, well, maybe in 12 or 18 months. But he doesn't take the money, and he makes it clear that at the point when your pedal's ready, he'll ask you if you want it, and if you don't, he's got lots of customers who do. Um, so I started with a secret weapon, or a secret machine. I can't remember. <laughs> I've got it over there. It's one of those two. I'm going to do a video about that as well. It's quite an interesting pedal. Um, as soon as I got that and plugged it in, I thought, okay, this guy is really got something going on here with these pedals they've really got their own incredible thing going on even though they are paying homage to original fuzz pedals now the Austin Pride really interested me because it had quite a few sort of knobs and you could change between silicon and germanium at the two different stages because basically fuzz works by 
going through two different um, sta stages, stages, like resistors, um, uh, that clip the, the sound in different ways, and silicon and germanium are the two common things. So I'll show you all of that in a review. This video is not really a pedal review, it's more of a sort of philosophical thing about finding your own tone and, and, and that first step towards doing it. So I filmed basically playing every guitar I've got with every amp I've got, and I'm just gonna make a short montage just so you can hear that hint of tone I'm going for. But just to give you a clue right up front, I've got my Tone King, Sky King plugged in, it's on a clean sound. I've got my Cherry uh, 355. The pedal is turned off at the moment. So let's just... Uh so, you know, that's a lovely clean tone. Um, but that could really get lost in the mix. It could just um, sort of die away and people aren't gonna hear it when you're actually playing with other musicians. So now I've got the pedal turned on. Let me start just at sort of half volume where it's not gonna do too much. So you can hear, I, I haven't got the fuzz massively gated, like dimed on the, on the pedal itself. Um, I'm not gonna go through all my settings in these videos because uh, you know we can all turn the knobs and tweak what, exactly what we want. This is gonna be slightly more conceptual than that. But just allowing me to have from the clean, fantastic so my idea is that that pedal would always be on and that I can really just use the guitar itself to control how the tone comes out uh, and that's that's really exciting so at the moment this is the pedal that um, I'm gonna have as my always on but in the coming week or two I'll be playing around with other pedals and I'll show you what I've experimented with and uh, maybe I can find something that's even more identifiable to my tone that I want to create but for now, I'm going to leave you with the montage so you can just hear how different guitars react to different, uh, with different amps and this pedal. And maybe it'll be a pedal that you're interested in from that. But otherwise, um, this video is just here as a sort of introduction to this series. We're going to get more in depth. And also just to say that um, I'm going to be in this room, which is our living room, for another five weeks or so, maybe a bit more. Um, we've I've completely stripped apart another room, which is going to be purely my music room. Um, and I've mentioned this before in a couple of videos. I just wanted to, to sort of say um, that, you know, all the demos that I do are very simple and I'm trying to just get across the, the sound of whatever amp or pedal that I'm playing. Um, and sometimes it feels like I'm getting a little bit stale <laughs> playing the same thing over and over again. So I'm also going to be working on learning some new stuff. Uh, experimenting with new styles of music, learning some new chords and all that sort of stuff. I might make a video or two about that. Um, I don't want to confuse the channel too much, but if you find that interesting, please let me know. Maybe we all get stuck in the same plateaus where you uh, get used to playing something and um, it's hard to find time just to sit and actually learn some new stuff and then learn it well enough for it to become part of your repertoire and part of your style. So, you know, there's always going to be a maximum potential perhaps that we can reach and maybe I'm, I'm getting there. Um, but I just wanted to say that to new viewers as well, if you're watching a bunch of my videos in one go, that um, I only started playing guitar again this year after 15 years away. And from that first moment I picked up the guitar again in January, um, it's been a massive learning curve and uh, I'm now getting to the point where I do feel like I need to really sit and learn a lot of new stuff. Um, but at the same time, to grow my YouTube channel, I need to get lots of videos out there. 
Um, and I'm not having to justify myself. No one's mentioned my playing, and I'm glad about that. If anything, I've had a couple of nice compliments, which is nice. But I'm just an average guitar player. I'm not professing to be anything more than that. Um, I'm hoping over the next few years to really, really nail uh, a few other styles of playing and to get more proficient at what I do. Um, and I'm loving it, really enjoying it. And um, if anyone's got some tips for me about where to learn from, um, I, I'm currently learning some Jamie Harrison stuff because I like that Mayer SRV Hendrixy style. Um, so if anyone's got any tips for how I can get better at learning more complex chords and um, blues jazz chords, that'd be really cool. I'd be happy about that. Um, but otherwise, please watch the montage at the end. Um, just to see what you think of this tone and leave some comments down below about whether you like the idea of this series um, and where it could go and any ideas you want me to explore. Um, but really, I'm enjoying the, the small community I'm, we're starting to develop here. Um, and, uh, you know, that's a nice turn up for the books. So anyway, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel um, and give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate all the thumbs up massively. It's, um, it's surprisingly sort of uh, it makes you feel very vulnerable when you put a video out there and just to be honest with you any thumbs up uh, really help and if you are going to leave a thumbs down I just appreciate to know why please leave that down in the comments let me know what I've <laughs> how I've maybe annoyed you maybe it's just me personally that I've annoyed you that's fine we can't like everyone um, I'm okay with that um, anyway uh, yeah enjoy the rest of the video and I'll see you on the next episode of uh, whatever I'm going to call this series I'm not sure yet have a good day Thank mm -hmm. you.
Thank mm-hmm. you.